Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a heat ventilation system. In a past video, I told you guys how like you guys can survive the, the summer and living in your car and that's really difficult to just do it in general. Um, so here is one way to make life a little bit easier. You know, as you sleep at night during a hot night, you know, it, it gets really hot in your car. And as we all know from physics or whatever, um, the heat rises, right? So what we can do here is if you have a sunroof, you can build a ventilation system that will pull the heat out. Um, of course, you can just leave the sunroof open and that can also help. But having an actual ventilation system that pulls it out is much better. So I want to show you guys how I'm going to build my own. All right. So let's get to it. So here's most of the items you're probably going to need to create your heat ventilation system. I got a mosquito netting from Dick Sporting Goods. This is just to cover the board um, to avoid any bugs flying into the vehicle. And then here is the fans for the ventilation system. They're USB powered, which is awesome. And then here are the little leggings and screws, which I will probably use to attach the fans to the actual board. Then the screwdriver itself, a knife to cut, and measuring tape. And then, silly me, bought this huge freaking uh, what do you call this? Coroplast board. Uh, this is much larger than what I need, but hey, extras, not a bad thing. But anyways, so let's get building. So first thing, go ahead and measure your sunroof. Um, so I measured my my uh, sunroof. If you have a 2005 Toyota RAV4, it's about three feet by uh, 19 inches. So I'm probably gonna cut about two inches longer than than those dimensions just so that I know I have more than I need and then I could just trim it down to um, to the right size. So here you'll see me measuring two inches longer than the three feet by 19 inches that I mentioned earlier and then cutting it to size. I then took the board to see if it would fit and realized it was way too long after opening the sunroof and then cut it a little bit shorter by about a few inches. It was about 16 inches. Tried it again and this time it did fit inside but then after testing it, it was too wide, too deep. So I took it out again, cut it shorter, and tried it one more time. Right. This time it did fit both wide and long. However, it was still a little too long that it started to move with the sunroof as it was opening and closing. So I decided to cut it about half inch shorter, so it was about 15.5 inches long. All right. And this time it finally worked and it fit well without having to get caught by the sunroof sliding in and out. Next part. So now I am trying to install the fans and trying to mark the points where the screws were. This was not the best idea because I could have just unscrewed the top of the fan first and then use the cage of it to measure and mark the circle and the screw areas. Here you can just see me trying to imagine um, the circular part of the fan and hoping that it works. So 
So I do it for both of them, and then I decide to cut it out. And then here I decided to unscrew the feet and to get the cage out and also remove the screws from the rubber feet. I removed the feet because they took up too much of the screw when I tried to put them on with the coral plastic board. So here this was a smart, much smarter way of getting the holes aligned with the band just putting the cage on top. So now you can see I'm just screwing the cage to the coral plastic board and the fan. Easy. So this is the finished part of the fan on the board. The top part is aligned with the board while the bottom is hanging. Here I'm now just installing the mosquito netting to keep any bugs from flying through the fan by any chance. Now you don't have to cut a mosquito netting as big as the entire board, it just needs to cover the fans. I just preferred to cut it to the board. And I just tape down the extra parts to the board. And that was pretty much it. So this is what the final product looks like. Now I just install it and turn it on and see if it works. Battery connected to a power strip, which is then connected to the fans. And when you turn it on, it works. So that is how you actually build it. Now the next few clips, you'll see I'm just trying to test if it will stay in place as I open it. And again, stay in place when I close it. And I'll do this both for opening the sunroof all the way and then just tilting it upward. When I'm actually using this, I'm probably just going to tilt the sunroof up, which you'll see right here. And then when I'm done with that, I will just close it. All right, guys, so that's everything for how to create your own heat ventilation system. You know, th that'll help a lot during the summer nights uh, to just get that heat out and try to stay as cool as possible um, so it's much more uh, tolerable to sleep at night. Um, again, I want to reiterate, just because you have this does not mean it's going to be comfortable at all. Uh, you know, depending on just where you live and, and whatnot, it, it may just still suck. Um, <clears throat> but hopefully that helps. And yeah, that video was a little rough, filming it and recording it and stuff. I just, the uh, first time kind of doing a video like this where it's doing a DIY and recording every little thing I'm doing. Usually I'm just talking to you guys or just touring everything uh, instead of like having to show you guys, oh, here's this, here's that. So. Hopefully this was a good video and hopefully you guys liked it. Something I just wanted to plug in real quick. I want to know if you guys are interested in any of my other minimalism content, like possibly uh, minimalist fitness, I guess. You know, I do a lot of calisthenics, which I would consider very, very much a minimalist fitness type of workout. And uh, I also do some yoga and acro yoga, which would, uh, I guess you could say is also part of um, a minimalist fitness type of lifestyle. So if you guys want to learn more about that, please put in the comments. I'll make more videos for those things as well. And uh, post those content as well on my Instagram. Um, please, again, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Help me with that YouTube algorithm so that my videos can reach other people who, who it may help. And um, also leave a comment if there are things that you think could have been improved on. Or leave a comment if you want to know like what, where I got the items, etc. if you need links. And then, of course, Hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for any new videos that come out. And lastly, go to my Instagram, check it out. See my other content like my photography and, and talking a little bit more about minimalism 
etc. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys next time.